Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Um, I had a hard time getting this episode started. I've been, uh, I've been over an hour trying to figure out uh, how, to, how to record this thing. Um, the game kept crashing. Um, after last episode with our little episode with uh, Anastasia per becoming a permanent statue over there, um, when I went to turn on the game this time, it would load four or five of the, of the buildings in the queue, and then everything would freeze over and over and over. Best I got was about eight of them loaded. I don't know if there's a problem with the number of items in the queue or the particular items in the queue or I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I thought maybe it was something to do with Anastasia. So I went back to yesterday's save or you know the day before what we started yesterday's episode with and Restarted that one. It worked fine. So I went through and recreated a lot of what we did. I've got the the houses out over here. Like, let me do it this way. Right through there, that little curve we did. And what else for construction? Got in the three um, uh, cow sheds there and went ahead and deleted that one again. And this time, Anastasia didn't happen to walk by there, but... Makita did, and if I keep clicking, where is she? Sophia did. So now we have a Makita Sophia ca uh, statue in the middle of our of our uh, cow shed, and I haven't tried turning the game off to see if it will reload. I decided just to get to somewhat of a of a similar point to where we left off last time. All the harvest is done. We're picking up the last of the items here, and maybe a few over here. And I've got the industry up and going again as far as uh, hauling in all the hemp and turning on the Weaver's Workshop. We've got two people working in here. And I managed to get Marina Avenenko over here. So I'm paying her a decent chunk, 120%. And I managed to get Mikola over here. So he's now our winter take keeper, uh, caretaker, caretaker for the farm at 100%. Well, we'll give him a boost just to get him out of debt. And so far the two of them have been uh, racking up a little bit of income. So keeping up with the Ivaninkos maybe is coming to an end and they're just going to become a, a normal family. Now, yeah, they'll always be the Ivaninkos to us. <laughs> Anyway, I need to get a whole bunch of these things out of the queue. I thought about deleting them all, or I could just continue recording, and let's build them all. Um, what else have I done? I brought over firewood to here. Like I said, I was going to the very beginning, stick firewood in all the warehouses, but never even thought about doing it to that one. So we got firewood on the way over here, and I learned something. Even though they can use carts, they're only going to bring one firewood at a time. They won't use the cart either. They walk over, they get a firewood, they walk back, they drop it off. What have you got? You. Right there, you're just dropping off an empty cart. Okay. Um, let's do this way. You are there. You are over here. You are bringing... Oh, you're bringing in a cart of firewood. Okay. Well, before I saw them walking over and doing it and only getting one. Now, they'll unload it one-tenth at a time. Boom, 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 boom. Ten times to finally get rid of that one. So still think of as tenths as the real unit. You know, a tenth is maybe one big armful. So ten big armfuls fills that cart. So one... Well, that cart, cart is too small for one cord of firewood, but one unit of some kind that, that makes sense that I can't think of. Anyway, um, one thing I wanted to do, I've noticed that... See if I can get in here. They keep emptying this out. They're they're constantly coming to this area to go and do whatever they're doing. So we need to get more carts in this area. So let's go ahead and drop another cart storage, cart parking, into here. Um, looks like that's the right orientation. Let's touch the T there. That looks pretty good. Now, thinking of road shaping, which is how we need to think nowadays. Something like that. I think so. That should leave a space over here that looks about right. Okay. And let's order you guys, <clears throat> which means we need to get somebody back in here. Okay. With that, 
can I turn the game on? All the farms are set. Got both of these running now, two people in on. We've got flour is over here and 34 or wheat. And we actually have flour available right there. Flour point oh or point nine. First time I've seen it actually in the list because we're finally making it in a quantity that isn't instantly being gobbled up and sent to a market somewhere. Otherwise, this house is over there. He's paused. I'm going to concentrate on the housing over here. As many of these we can get in before spring, it should be much easier to keep people in here. Uh, I had... Well, that's interesting. Well, it's calling for labor. It's allowing the five laborers to come in. I was I brought down just a one worker. figured she can spend the whole winter bringing this in. But two... Uh, let's take you down. Let's do that. I want you guys working on building. But um, so I'm having a hard time keeping people uh, working out here. Interesting. You know, I don't want to go out in the winter either. I understand it. But uh, I didn't think they would fill in the, the labor positions over there. Um, just kind of racking my brain here. We've got... going to build up 20 potatoes and 15 sunflower in here for, for trading this year. Um, we, I went through this last time. I figure we lost... Well, what was it? Now I've lost... I've forgot what I figured. That The difference between what we exported and imported is 180, 280, 210 plus 273. So roughly 480 we lost last year. So there's... You can remember 480. We'll see how that changes this time. Um, we've already done about half the amount of exports. I think I got rid of uh, a bunch of potatoes or something like that. No, it was it was sunflower. It was 160, 16 sunflowers at 10 each. That's what it was. And we're already building up another round of it because we've got sunflower in here now. And we've got uh, these guys in here at sunflower of five. So turn you off. And what I need is someone to be hauling it out of there. So you're making it faster than the than the queue can hold, really what it comes down to. When there's two people in there, they make it too fast. This needs to be 50, not five. So or 20 or something, but five just doesn't do it. So I can only employ one person in there at a time. I could put a second shop in. Yeah, that might be a thing. It might be a thing. In fact, we could almost uh, rotate this and maybe get one there, one here, or something like that. But... Now, um, what we saw what happened when we tore a building down. I'm afraid to tear any more buildings down. So what do we do with this? Do we build a city park in here? <laughs> we could. Um, we could get rid of this and put one more cow shed right there. And do something else with this area. That's probably it. Cart parking there. Any other reason for cart parking in here? can't think of any. These folks don't use carts. This goes from there to there, and then someone comes to get it from there. These guys use carts, and they've got them right over there. Might be more convenient to have it actually near the entrance. It'd be more convenient. I don't know. We'll think about that. Tell me what you guys think. What is there another building that would work well in there? But we can't put a building in there as long as Makita Sophia lives there. Yeah, I could I could maybe do something like that though. Actually that's not too bad. Right there. That still accomplishes the goal. And it kinda hides the fact that we have two living statues standing out there in the cold making us feel bad for them. Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> Bring you all the way back over there. I want these houses built. Which are we doing now? We're kind of doing. We've got, uh, um, boy, Mick, Michaelo. Michaelo. Yeah, he's working there. He is installing thatch. And this house will be done. I want to kick the speed up. I'll kick it to two. But I want to make sure I'm not missing something like you know, spring coming. Uh, okay, spring's coming. Back to one. Let's get this place all hired up. Uh, wages are at 100%. So we'll just see what they do at 100%. Let's kick this one in. 
and we'll take this one to 110% just to coax them over here versus the other ones over here. This one's already 110% because of Mikola. I think I will actually 120. I'm going to take you back down 110 or 100 and because 120 no one's going to work over here. So you're still at 110. So you're the best price at a farm over here. You guys are at 110. Take you back down, but bring everybody else in. Okay. So what's going to happen here this time? We're in this one, so there's one fallow. There's only one fallow field. We got to get five done over here. Next two years, we'll have two fallow fields. That's just the way it worked out. So I need to get somebody to start running that plow. I may have to go to 120%. Yeah, now they're willing to come over. Boy, they're willing to come over. 120%? You betcha I'll work. For I'm not going to do this one anymore, huh? Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to bribe them to work, aren't we? There's a house. That'll help, I think. Or we'll just have more people unemployed. I'm not sure which. All right, let's get in some fishers. Some fishermen. And we have logs over here, so we're good. Over here, we have a 1,000 nails. I can do without you for a while, because I've asked to put 500 nails over here. Do you guys do it? You haven't done it, but there's still a lot of nails in the system. Okay, thatch, we're at 20. Let's take you out of here for a while. Let's get everybody out in the farms. Who else? We don't really need anybody over here. We've done all that. So I'll just have one of you to haul oil so that Ratslav... Ratslav, are you still living over here? Ratslav, that was your house, right? Son Ratslav, 18. Ratslav Ribnik. And where? Here. Ratslav Ribnik. So he's 18, he's still living at home. That's interesting. It says he... Oh, it doesn't say where he works. It just calls him a son. Now, right over here, uh, Sylvia, uh, Sophia, fine home. She lives over here. Yeah, and she's 11 years old. Oh. There was an awaiting water, one water, over here. When this was going down, there were three waters stored. I think she went to go get one of those waters and never left. Interesting. And that means that um, um, Makita, let me zoom in here, was also going for water, wasn't he? Right there, find home. Are you guys waiting water? They went to go get the water from the cow shed as it was being deconstructed. That's what it was. Okay, I'll get that, uh, that information to uh, Yaveni. See if he can figure out... Uh, what to tweak in the game code so that doesn't happen anymore. That's got to be what happened. And it's possible that this game save is not going to start up again next time, too, because of that, if that is truly tripping it out. We'll see. We'll, we'll eat our way through a lot of this. Once I'm confident that our crops are going to get planted, only two. All right, I'm going to have to do it. You're going to go up one. You are going to have to go up one. And you are up two. And you are up none. Boy. Okay, I guess construction's got to pause. I guess there's no way around that. Not that they're doing it, but I gotta at least take this this uh, possibility away from them. Okay, messenger from town that starts with D. That's over here. You guys. Salt, lime, dried fish, and wheat and shoes. That's all a no. But it got me thinking about cows so we've got two ladies working in here we've got eight cows over here now um none in that one that one just built and the eight over here and i'm waiting for two people all right so this one we're paying 120 let's take you down to 110 you no higher 110 and we'll take you up to 110 I can't get anybody in there. So I don't dare move any cows over there just yet. Okay. All right, then. Let's kick it up to speed, to speed three and just see what happens. 
Hopefully, all right, we've, well, we're cycling in and out. You can see that. They're all just, they're all over the place. Hmm. Okay, over here. Constant here, constant. Here, they're constant now. Over here. Yeah. Over here, we'll always have just three fields running. Got a true half and half mix over here. Oh, I noticed something. While I was doing all this, I was, I was, as I was building these, I forgot to turn this one to use fallow field. And so all the cows went inside instead of stayed out in the field. Let's see if they go back inside. Got to wait for one of these two workers to, to come back to work. There she is. And come back out and go to the field and then lead the whole parade back right there. Nope, she missed it. This one? This? No. So maybe it won't happen again. But they all went inside. And then when I said use fallow field a second time, they all went to a different fallow field. And I actually had the cattle split up around the map. I probably could only repeat that if I build another one. And uh, they go into the cow shed first. Mm -hmm. Which could happen this time once we get uh, all of this stuff done. Alright, that's field... Actually, this is field one. So they worked all the way over, way over to here. That one is sewing, and this is, this is six over here. Okay, so that one's going to get done. One. This one's sewing, so we're at four. This one, we are at four. And over here, we're just... Ah, oh, we're still sewing over there in one. Ooh. Okay, well, we're just starting April. Uh, numbers again. We're maxed. We're maxed. Now all the people came out of the woodwork. Where were they hiding? I couldn't, uh, couldn't fill all the slots, and now not a problem. And we still have logs coming in. Huh. Weird. Um, speaking of logs, what do I want here? Trees. Let's go in with ash. Let's put in an ash forest. Um, shift and hold the R down. Kind of randomly do this. Not too close. I went in last time really close. I'm going to have to manually, I believe, turn all of these from protect to or, or off of protect. But we do need to get more of a forest starting to grow in here. And it's going to just be painful to reset all of these manually. But there's, there's a clump. Otherwise, they're going to be going a further distance and further and further and further to get the wood. All right, there's a whole bunch more for the game to calculate. Maybe that'll crash us. <laughs> How far can we tax this game? All right, you are number six, and you are done. Let's take you down. Now, is there a... I have an Inco in there. There is. So you two go away, and you can go away, and you can go away. Unfortunately, I don't know what else to do with them. Um, I, the amount of hemp that came out of here. There's still two over here. Over here, we've got 1.6. Because I guess they're concentrating on bringing in firewood. And right over here where they're using it, they basically used it all up. So the three to four farms of hemp are not enough to keep two ladies working all year long. So we're not getting the quantity out of this that's going to do us any good. So the idea that four dedicated farms to bring in enough product to keep people working isn't really working. We're only going to keep two of you working for half of a year. Well, yeah, half of a year. They all came in in November and here in May we're basically out. So textile the same way. I mean, we'll keep Marina Ivanenko employed, but there's not going to be much for her to do. She you know, there's only two or three more, you know, 2.0 or 3.0 worth of textile left to come in to be turned into clothes. Now, those clothes are landing in all of the markets that um, that sell it. There and this one. No, this one. 
and in fact they're gone over there and the clothing market over here right there so they're already making it out to all of the people uh, there there was one more right there right there clothes yeah they're gone there too over here we're done let's see that's field six we're done so we don't need you guys Philip Simon yeah all of you guys can go away we'll keep one there's Marina no different Marina okay over here that is field six it is sewn we're done over here so send all of you away keeping you now is Marina still in here she is okay and Makita Makola is still there so how are they doing now 10 they're back with the living okay I think they're fine now I think we don't have to worry too much more about them um, actually that's one of the reasons I hate running at full speed I get to talking and I forget all about what I should be doing so I swear most games like banished and all the different games I've done I always take my time because I've lost all kinds of productivity by forgetting to unpause these things okay over here we are sewing yeah everything is done so you guys all go away okay the reason I do that I mean I would love to keep them all employed but I mean the wages are, are just huge that's what's killing us right there again 480 to the uh, uh, to the bad right uh, on this year alone and we are I know I got a messenger halfway through the year and we're basically in the same pattern of salary over there uh, messenger from the town that starts with an M you want sunflower oil okay has any arrived 12 has okay that'll give us another 120 which well, we're running at full speed so I gotta slow down a minute because I only have 25 days 120 and 160 so we'll be at 280 and if I sell the potatoes we'll be at about that same number there It'd be nice to get exactly the same amount sold this year as last year then we can really see how we differed I'm hoping that selling the uh, um, what am I thinking of selling the, the the sunflower oil and the clothes would make a big difference inside the town and to get that local sales number up but I haven't seen enough to prove that I really need to get shoes going to do that I need to get the cows into all four of these and I need to get breeding happening at four different places instead of just two so that's got to get done but let's get what did I say 12 let's sell 12 of these guys deal it's 10 more days and what is keeping us let's go to speed one for a moment what is keeping us from getting the rest of these over here we have one person I could speed that I could add one more into there over here we've got three in stock so I'm waiting for those three to go away so he's got room to make more that's really what it comes down to five sunflowers over there and over here there's 13 so we've got some available I just unfortunately if I add another person into here I know what's gonna happen we're gonna quickly make two more and we're gonna five in there and they're gonna be sitting here doing nothing getting paid to do nothing here can we we went to we get potatoes <laughs> well one more did arrive though so maybe we'll be getting potatoes and sunflower how are we doing at this one we still need a bunch more nails it's interesting I guess we're stuck trying to haul in the firewood that might be it uh, construction projects we've got the one house being worked on and that's about it right now even though all these people are no longer working on the farms I would think that there'd be a whole line of laborers here and click and there and there and here especially here this is even closer closer to town interesting so there's a bunch of people thinking about working but not really hmm this one's getting a lot of activity right now yep uh, pause do we still have a deal over here we do not that's already gone ok 
Okay, expired. What? The sound's working now. Alright, and right when I got lined up to give us a show, they all went away. Alright, let's think about cow sheds. I'm going to take it down to two speed. A little less stressful. Boy, everyone started moving there for a second. Okay, you have people now. And I can trust that you're going to stay. And I've got four and four. Alright, so let's think about this. I need to get... Hmm. Bowl of 11 months. He will be a year by the time they go in. Let's put him in that one. Cow of one year. Cow of one year. Now out of here. We already have a bowl in there. So let's put another cow of one year and another cow of one year in there. Okay. So that gives us a total of I guess we're still kind of waiting. They're hauling them in. Ah, we get to see this because I forgot again to click that. So let's let all of the cows get hauled in. And then I'll show you what I what I saw last time. That was the first batch from the first one. A bull and two cows. So we'll have two more cows. We'll have a total of five in here when they're done. So it's a matter of waiting for someone from... I don't know if it's from the the destination or from the source, but somebody's got to come get three cows, or two cows, two two yeah two cows from here, and go to there. Let's speed that up. Let's watch this happen because they're probably on brakes. Her? There we go. Nope, she stopped. And she went there. Interesting. I wonder why she went out there and stopped. Did she feed them? I mean, these are... They're not dropping. Okay. Well, we're not going to see it. Well, let's see it this way then. We'll just do that. Now they get hauled out. And they go to the same one. <laughs> Make a liar out of me. <laughs> oh, last time they were all in here. And... The ones in this cow shed came out and went into here or here. I don't remember. Entirely different place. Yeah. Oh, well. So, with that. I mean, this did happen, right? I did grab two. There were two one-year ones that I took out of here. That's interesting. Hmm. And over here, six. So, you're kind of claiming you still have nine. Let's put another... One over there. And then I think we'll do something here. Where are we? Middle of July. Let's take it down to speed two. Let's turn on the... Right there. The slaughterhouse. Let's turn on the tannery. And let's go ahead and take out those five-year-olds. Uh, right here. Slaughter the five-year-old bull. That leaves a two-year-old bull in there. And another oh, two-month-old. Okay. Take that one out. Four-year-old? I don't know what years are in this game versus reality. You know, they're calling one or 12 months old or one year old an adult. Just wondering what are the breeding years? But let's pull out all the fives and the fours. That leaves a bowl of only 10 months in here. Hmm. We'll leave that one. Over here. Yeah. So we should see them, assuming that we're employed. Slaughterhouse. Nobody's employed yet. Okay. So when that happens, we'll start getting some meat into the system. We'll start getting some leather into the system. I need to see that happen. Tanner, right here. I do have somebody waiting at this end. So, it's a matter of getting somebody in here. Alright, let's kick you up one notch. There we go. You're not the same one that was in here, are you? No? Okay, so with that, as soon as leather gets in, I want to trigger this one to say leather. Just waiting for that to happen. Alright, Slaughterhouse, you are actually where right now? Show path. 
you're kind of in it. You're going to take a break. No, now you're going to get a cow. There you are. Which one? It magically appeared at the door. Okay. You're going to drop into there. And you're going to produce one hide and half of a beef. You would think one cow would equal one beef. Kind of like one horse equals one horsepower. Uh, you need to grab that hide. You are located where? You've gone home. And now you are going way over there to get firewood. Interesting. You're right there. I'm really waiting this long for you to get firewood. Is there nobody else in your household that could get firewood? That's what kids are for. Yep, bringing in half a firewood. Then you'll go back to work. That's why productivity is so bad at times. They're too busy bringing firewood. Now, why did you do that? I've got firewood sitting in here. Kind of. And firewood sitting in here. Yes, I do. That has got to be closer than that. So it's not as automatic as I would hope there. All right. Are you home yet? Now you're going to work. Okay. Once you get to work, you're right there. Then you're going to hop off and get a hide. Did you do that with a cart? You did it with a cart. All right, grab the hide. Boom, 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 boom. Intense. Brought it over. And as soon as you make a leather, I don't have the shoe maker. Where are you? Hired yet. So we shouldn't use the... Oh, we're still storing 0.5 leather. Okay. So with that, you are making leather. All right. Can I trigger leather in here now? Leather. That's what I've been waiting for. Give me 10 of those. Okay. Now we can turn this on. All right. There. Put a worker in there. Gotcha. You are... Dobroslava. Okay. With that, then, are we... Let's check the status here. Six in there, four in there, and six in here, and nobody is marked to slaughter. You, slaughterhouse, are done. So, you're done. Tannery, we still have one hide over here. So, kick the speed up to August. Oh man, we're in August. Okay, turn you guys back on. Boy, one of these days when we can afford to pay people not to do anything. That's going to make life so much easier. At least we have a lot more flexibility on the harvest than we do in the planting and the sowing. Okay, this is the biggie. We're paying the most. So, yeah, I should fill the fastest over there. But is that going to empty out other jobs like these? Kind of. They're, they're bouncing around. You, Marina, is still, still locked in and happy there. Good. Over there, we've got shoes being made. That should really help. We're going to get August, September, October, November. We're going to have five months, so almost half a year of shoes in the system. So we should get a big boost of... Uh, of sales in here at least we could stockpile it all and sell it that way maybe we'll do that next time i'm hoping once we get these four cow sheds filled you know with uh, lots of lots of cattle then we can afford to, to do both trade and sell to our own people okay speed five not much more i can do other than just sit back and hope that you guys do your jobs over here we're working on the first one, working on the first one, and around the corner, we're working on the first one. And lots of old shadows hanging around. <laughs> All right, construction, you sure didn't do much, huh? Yeah, I didn't get much done. So we got a huge queue. And it took so long to place some of these things, I hate to delete them all. So we have those. In fact, I, I placed them even better than last time. 
think. Nice, nice sweeping curve over here. This one looked pretty good. We could delete like this one. Get that out of the queue. Okay. But there's everything else has kind of been started. So we have this one to get rid of. Okay, let's do that. You continue and demolish. That take. Can't demolish this building, not implemented yet. Okay, you can't get rid of a fishing dock. That's right. Pause. Alright. So the only thing else I can really empty now, besides buildings that have been started, like even the one up here, are ones that took so long to, to mark out. But that seems to be all that I can do to, to empty the queue, if that was even the problem. That's when it stopped trying to install the last save. You know, it got to about here and quit. So whether this has anything to do with that, I don't know. So two potential issues. And I don't know which one to, to uh, try to remedy. Empty the queue out or give up on our Makita Sil what was her name right there? Uh, Sophia. Makita Sophia. And nobody has come back to work in here. Hmm. Okay, am I at three? I'm at three. We've got no other trading going on, right? You guys ever come to do this? You... Did you? That was here. Uh, there, we at 280. We did. Okay. And we've got 15 back in there again. Do we have some still in the greenery? Sunflower oil, one. So we're only just now getting it back into here. But we do have it in the booths, right? Sunflower oil, one. And over here, that's potato. One. Reserved one. Okay. Out over here, this one. 1.32 and some beef okay any shoes out there yet uh not there up here this one beef and this one no shoes are we still tannery stored one hide we can't get ready to work here ah okay so well tell you what let's do that just to make this happen to get that one hide converted over it's already stored you just got to get to work and you, you're going to no you dropped off a cart you went home now you're going to work where you're going to convert that hide right you should be there there we are making leather 0.5 and 0.5 and that is the end no, there's still a hide over here. He's got to get that. Okay. Let that happen again while we're waiting for all this. We are six weeks left. We've done more, more than halfway. Uh, you're doing okay. You're doing great. In fact, we can eliminate a couple of you. No, Ivanenko's eliminated, though. You guys need some help over here. Yeah. You almost have enough people. So I kind of want to eliminate. Let's eliminate one more. Two people can definitely do that job before time is out. But I need to make sure that all these other jobs are filled. You now, you're filled. Okay. Uh, hides, you're done. Here, you're done. All right, you're out of there. That leaves leather over here, 1.4 for Dobroslava to continue working on making shoes. Message from. All right, forgot I could click on that. That makes it so much easier. We could sell them shoes. We could, but I'm not going to yet. I don't, we haven't got enough to trade. I need to send them out here for one unit of shoes. Let's just sell it to our own people for now. Um, October, we're like three quarters of the way through the year. And local sales are almost equal to all of last year by adding those shoes in there. Interesting. Shoes sell for, I think, 35 in trading. I'm guessing they sell locally, proportionately. They're selling in tenths, 
locally, but maybe it's 3.5 per tenth or something like that. Otherwise, um, still would love to have this house done. We're done with everything but the thatch. I mean, surely you could pop in there real quick. Once the harvest is done, hopefully they dive back into housing and just get it all done. That would be nice. Where is this house? You're over there. Let's unpause you as well. Maybe you'll... we got so much further ahead on that one than the rest. Maybe you'll dive into that one too. But let's get this done. I'm going to let this episode run a little bit longer. Just in case I can't get this save to work again. If that's the case, then I probably will have to give up on this town. Or wait for patch 5, which means I'll be down for a while before I start recording again. So let's go for oh, a good hour this time. And... Uh, and just, just get some more time in. We're at speed 3, so we should be able to get quite a bit done. Um, Just by finishing up over here, we're in the middle of November. We're done over here. So let's take down everybody who's not at Ivanenko. We'll leave two in here to haul things in. Over here, you guys are done. We'll leave two. There is an Ivanenko there. And there's still one over here? There is. All right. You guys are basically done. I'll let you get those last two rows in. Just in case the person meant to do that last little bit. What was that? Tailor shop. Okay. Alright. That's it. So, take you guys down to two people. And for that matter, let's temporarily switch you over. That was a house to uh, women only for the winter. How's that sound? Do that. And fire higher. All right, a couple of women, give them work because they're basically not going to have much else to do. Same thing over here. Let's take you guys out and no Ivanenko's in there. Let's everybody off and a couple of women in to do the cleaning up part for the winter. Okay, over here, good. Here, we'll be good. Over here, we do have an Ivanenko. And he needs to keep his job, so we're going to leave that alone. And that was the end of the harvest, and we succeeded it one more time. Good news. Now let's get to work. You did, you guys did jump back into this one. Yeah, interesting. So they, they like that one. In fact, we'll move you up in the list just to make sure. Something like that. I would love to get this going. But meanwhile, do we have a adult bowl in each of these? You've got one plus a nine-month. And almost no cows. That's a problem. Let's move. You've, we lost a cow in this process somehow. I'm not sure how. Let's, no, they were only one-year-olds. So we lost one in there somewhere. Um, Four-year-old over there. Getting a lot of bulls. Now, I, I've seen in other Let's Plays, you can slaughter the, you know, the two-month-old bull and still get a full adult's worth of material out of it. But... Just for the sake of conscience and role play, I'm not going to go slaughtering two month old bulls. That's just, that just doesn't feel right. Can we get, oh, we can. Let's get this one going. Hopefully, we get some cows as babies this year instead of more bulls. Um, otherwise, we still have two in here. They're going to spend the whole winter bringing in potatoes, and that's fine. Do we have any trade deals going on that I'm not aware of? Yes, you. Click, click, click. Nope. Not. That was red, not gold. Okay. So otherwise, just building projects. And we are not... It's almost like I have to click right on the picture of the house. We're clicking in the grass. Unless I say if I click on the grass, it won't work. All right. You want potatoes. Let's slow you down. And let's think about this. Potatoes. We still have two workers in here. They brought in 20 potatoes. We have available in the system another six, and we have out in the harvest another 32. Okay, so, and over in here, potatoes, almost nothing. Okay, out in the stalls, there's about one. There's about one. Um, this one? Yeah, 0.4. Over there, point one. So potatoes have been an issue. We've been stockpiling them all into into here. We do have 20 to get rid of, though. December. Um, actually, if I pause, we could almost get them into this year. I wanted to do that. 
I want to sell 110 worth of potatoes this year. Is that still possible? Is there six days in there? There might be. But then they've also got a load. And, yeah, that might not work. What does 110 worth of potatoes look like? Um, here. So potatoes, 110. I have 20 available. So if I were to sell 14, let's do it and get them on their way. Okay, they're they're on their way. They're six days away. I don't know exactly what date in December this is. Be nice to do that. Otherwise, how are we doing? Otherwise, we sold, well, shall we say about 200 more by the time this last little bit goes through local sales than the year before. We paid about 200 more in wages, too. Because I upped the salary on all those farms to get people out there. Is that it? Didn't really have any other buildings. Well, we did have people working... Um, well, when, it, when it's snow-covered, can't find them. Here, here, and here. More so. And I did employ people here for a while, as well as here. Slaughterhouse. So there were more wages, but there were more local sales too, but not enough more. Hmm. A cattle industry is probably the answer to everything. It probably is. Because we're going to have more people here soon. A lot more people. And we're not going to have that many more jobs other than mm, keeping them employed more in the farms. Boy, I can see where we're going to get to a point to where we're not going to be able to, to sustain a population. The product coming in from the farms is not enough to employ a whole production industry. It really isn't. These guys, I mean, really what we're employing are warehouses. You know, they, they can certainly bring a lot more hemp. In fact, let's bring in one more to get more hemp coming in from here so that these ladies can get back to work again. They're really not doing anything. Yeah. Once they get to work again, then, then she can start uh, making more clothes, but she's not doing anything either. Kind of dies at 0.5 over here. Shoes, are we done? 0.5 leather over here and none over here. We're kind of done. So, yeah, Do Dobra, Dobraslava. You're kind of, um, sorry, but uh, there's no more job for you there. We're not producing anymore. Yeah, a huge cattle industry. It's about the only thing that would really seem like it would make sense. And to slaughter, like, enough where you can slaughter at least 10 cows a, a year. And that's going to take probably more than four cow sheds. What do you think? Sunflower's not going to do it. It's in there five oil. I can't employ two guys. I just can't do it. We max out and we just sit there and do nothing. Because we're not bringing it over here fast enough because... If I keep upping this, then we never really get anything into the system over here. So they're not taking it away fast enough. So, okay, maybe this is the answer. Uh, it'd be nice to get uh, another woman in there too. Maybe we've got to start hauling more stuff into our granaries to keep this thinned out when we're not doing the trading. Otherwise, I can keep upping the trading, but that's just going to keep stealing from the town. It's a hard balance. It really is. But yeah, right now, with five stored of each one, we're not going to do anything. That's really a limiter right there. These guys should be able to keep going no matter what quantity it is. That five really is a problem. That needs to be a much higher number or not or not, a non-existent one. There's no number here. Well, there is. Okay. Do all these have a production of five? They do. I just kind of didn't really notice that. Where are you? You're building there. we got one laborer bring clay. And as far as I know, um, this house is still waiting for that one water for Sophia to come home. And this one, Makita, where are you at? Makita. I don't know. Let's click on you this way. Right there, find home. You're right here. So these two homes were looking for water. And they were doomed for doing that. Yep, just parked right there. Hmm. Well, am I done? I think so. Barring any 
something unexpected. I'm going to continue running the game for a while to get a few more of these built so that we've got a, a smaller chunk of houses in the queue. So I kind of race it through. Boy, it's already February. Huh. Oh, it is already February. We've got to get these crops emptied. I didn't think about that. Normally, that's not an issue. I mean, yeah, we're one more up there, but that's this is done, basically. There's just a few more left over there, which is field six. That'd be fine, because it, it, you got to plow in order to get to field six. That one, too. That's field six, so that's a no. But this one, we're four, five, and six. This one, yeah. These are... Oh, okay, we're fine over here. This is going to be uh, fallow every other time. So this one's always going to be fine. We don't have to worry about that. This one is a concern, though. So, yeah, we'll kick that up in there. All right, I'll keep recording for a little while. Again, I just... In case this is the last episode for until patch 5, I, I'm hesitant to, to shut it down. Uh, over here, there, sunflower oils. Let's do the 15. Right there, and deal. All right, metal... Iron. There you are. 20. What? Iron 6. Okay. Fish 23. Fish. I never went back over to fish. Completely distracted. There's a whole bunch of, of labor that, uh, that got wasted. Darn. We're at March, basically, so I'm not going to undo it now, but I forgot all about that. Again, it'd be nice when I don't have to unemploy people. But this line right here makes that impossible. All right, spring is coming. And we've got enough done over here for this to work. Okay, you guys just stay employed. Let's go ahead and turn the rest on and get ready for the beginning of the year. Right there and right there. This one just kind of died on us, didn't it? This one is fallow? And that one's fallow and that one's fallow. Yep, that is work out. And we have some we have some vapor cows. Will you look at that? We do. Vapor's only got one. I got two. <laughs> Alright, how much longer do I run this? It doesn't look like I'm gonna get any more of these done, right? You're a no. Ah, oh, we might get that one. And over here, nothing. So, we'll keep that one up on... Never mind. Yeah, you're done. Okay. Well, I think I will turn this off. I'm sure I'm hitting an hour by now. Yeah, it's probably best. So, hopefully, this starts up again next time. I did send last uh, the last save file into Yveni to, to look at, see if he can decipher what went wrong whether it was uh, Anastasia over there or if it has something to do with the queue or what. But he's probably got dozens and dozens of, of uh, bug reports like mine all stacked up. So who knows when he's even going to open up that email. So we'll just keep going along the best we can. But I think I am going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for, for hanging around my ramblings. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.